Ian Brown here with Terrier Vision with Coach Jay McCauley after a 77-59 Terriers victory over North Carolina Central. Coach, first congrats on the win. 19 turnovers for us tonight. What was going on on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, we're really just trying to, to grow there every, every day and practice and every game. And uh, I thought tonight, for the most part, we were really connected on that end of the floor, especially late, right, when we went on that barrage of points. Our defense fueled those easy points. And the more we can play that way as a unit, and rebound as a unit, I think we'll see how that fuels some easy baskets for us. So I was proud of that by our guys. Down the stretch, they started to make a little bit of a run at you guys, cut it down to uh, within five. What was the message in the huddle during those timeouts? Yeah, just being simple. Uh, we got a lot of new guys and some older guys are still trying to get some chemistry on this end. And anytime we were simple and moved the ball, we got great, great shots. Anytime we try to do a little bit too much and got a little frustrated or sped up, we really just kind of kicked some unforced turnovers, which fueled their run to get back in the game. We'll learn from that. Uh, we got a resilient group. They're always in the film session trying to learn. And uh, obviously, we can learn from this game. That's a really good ball club we just beat right there. It seemed like all of your bench players that got minutes tonight were really aggressive on the offensive end. Isaiah, Trey, even Ryan. What can you say about their performance? Yeah, really proud of our bench, really proud of our team. It didn't matter who we put in there. I thought they played with confidence. Yeah, they made some mistakes here and there, but overall I thought they came in with the right mindset. And the reason why is because they've worked on their game. And when you work on your game, you reap the benefits of that by your confidence being where it needs to be. And you can go down the whole line. They came in and really shot us in the arm after a slow, sluggish start, offensively that is. So hopefully that will continue. And uh, I think they all see in order to play, you got to defend and rebound as a unit. And uh, they're buying into that, which was really neat to see as a team. Saturday, you got the defending Big South champions, Gardner-Webb, coming to visit you. What's this week of preparation going to be like? Same deal. It's, it's more about us uh, in that this team, North Carolina Central, has won four of the last six titles. Gardner-Webb just won their last title. We have as well. So they've got to prepare for us. But we got another good ball club coming in. Every one of the teams we've played so far, has been a challenge and a really good test for us. And that's how we're getting better. And that's the whole objective of the non-conference is to meet these challenges and meet new ways of guards and teams defending us. And I think we'll see that again with Gardner-Webb. They got a good outfit. All right, thanks coach. Congrats on the win. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks. I'm here with senior guard Nathan Hoover. Nathan, congrats on the win. Are you guys really pulled, off, pulled away in the second half? What changed about your offensive game plan? Uh, we just made sure we moved the ball uh, really well. Because you know that they have a, they have a lot of pressure, and we knew you know if we move the ball and try, don't fall into that you know dribbling and everything, that's what they want us to do. So we did a great job moving the ball, screening for each other, and you know getting the wide open shot. And when you have guys that you know are don't care who gets the shot and they love seeing their teammates score, that's what happened in the second half. 36 points in the paint tonight. What can you say about the the production from your bigs? They did a great job. You know they had a battle down on on defense and be able to come back in you know on offense and be able to uh, help us out and you know be able to score the ball, offensive rebound, everything. And so it's, it's a great feeling to know that, you know, we, we can throw it down in the paint to Messiah or Chevy and, you know, they're going to produce, you know, and uh, we don't have to worry about anything. What can you say about Trey and his improvement being more aggressive this season and really taking control on offense? I love Trey's game. You know, I've told him, I've always told him to be aggressive, you know, and play your game. And he came out and he did, he did a great job. And, you know, being a, him coming off the bench, you know, giving us that spark and keep up, you know, the scoring and keep up the intensity everywhere, you know, it makes us a, a very hard team to beat. Thanks, Nathan. Congrats on the win. I'm here with junior guard Trey Hollowell. Trey, congrats on the win. 17 points tonight. What were you seeing from the defense that uh, inspired you to be so aggressive? Well, I was just being, uh, me, my, me and my coaches talk about being patient and being simple on the offensive end because they know that I can score pretty well. So I was just trying to do that and just seeing what came to me on the offensive end and just uh, waiting for my time to get open shots and drive and things and get my teammates involved and things like that. So that's what I tried to do. Talk about the bench production overall, This not only this game, but this season. Uh, it's been pretty good. Me and uh, Messiah, Isaiah, Donovan, Zion, we come off the bench ready to go when coach calls our name, and it's, it's been pretty good. We hope to keep it up. Big game on Saturday with Gardner-Webb. Uh, what's the confidence like in the locker room? Uh, it's really hot right now. We just got a big win, so uh, we're coming in ready to get another big win against Gardner-Webb. Pretty tough team, so we'll be locked in and focused for that. Thanks, Trey, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.